In the book of Revelation, we are told of seven letters Jesus wrote to churches in what was then Asia Minor, an area now known as the country of Turkey. Located about 30 miles south of Thyatira was the city of Sardis. This city was located at the crossroads of some of the most important roads in Asia. This location made it one of the world's great trading centers and contributed to its great wealth. In fact, the first coinage ever to be minted in Asia was minted in Sardis. Some have said that Sardis was the place where modern money was born. Most noticeable in Sardis was the Acropolis, which rose about 800 feet above the north section of the city. It was protected by rock walls which were nearly vertical, except on the south side where there were steep cliffs. This made it a fortress that was almost impenetrable and provided protection from invaded, invading armies. Only twice was it ever captured, though attacks on it were frequent. Each time it was captured, it was because guards had fallen asleep, leaving the city vulnerable to attack. And this memory would be important to the church where Jesus instructed John to write, Wake up! But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. As with other cities, Sardis contained many temples to the gods it worshipped. In fact, Sardis had a temple to Diana that equaled the size of the famous temple of Artemis in Ephesus. However, the temple at Sardis was never completely finished. The city of Sardis was for many years wealthy beyond imagination, but this wealth also led to its downfall. The people became self-indulgent and self-satisfied. Its citizens were known for combining wild sexual orgies with their worship of heathen gods. And one historian summed up ancient Sardis this way, No city in the whole province of Asia had a more splendid history than Sardis. No city of Asia at that time showed such a melancholy contrast between past splendor and present decay as Sardis. Its history was the exact opposite of Smyrna. Smyrna was dead and yet lived. Sardis lived and was dead. While the church in Sardis seemed healthy on the outside, on the inside she was dead. The church had become like the city in which she resided. The church, which was once vibrant and effective, had become lazy and ineffective. Impressed with her past, the church was not alert to face the challenges of the present or the future. There's also evidence of a large Jewish population in Sardis. While the church there found protection from the Romans in the synagogue, some were now being put out and their names removed from the synagogue registers because they refused to renounce the name of Jesus. It was to this church that Jesus wrote, To the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up! Strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your deeds complete in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Obey it and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes will, like them, be dressed in white. And I will never blot out his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name before my Father and his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches.